Could we see a Nikola Vucevic trade before the start of the 24-25 NBA season? And could he be potentially heading to the Golden State Warriors? I'll discuss my thoughts on that here in a second. But before we dive into it, guys, I want your guys' thoughts on Vooch. Do you want the Bulls to trade Vooch? If yes, hit that thumbs up icon. But if not, and you are in the minority of Bulls fans on this one, comment why down below. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Bulls Report. My name is Patrick Seatman, and coming up on today's show, I wanted to dive into the latest Nikola Vucevic trade rumors that we are hearing around him potentially going to the Golden State Warriors, and the Bulls actually get a hell of a haul in this deal. Now, I think if I had to pinpoint the number one point of emphasis and the number one thing that the Bulls need to get done before the start of next season, number one, it's no doubt trade Zach Levine. But number two for me, it is moving off the big fella, Nikola Vucevic, as, you know, the numbers look good. He is a walking, you know, 18-point, 10-rebound-a-game guy. But just overall out there on the basketball court, he is still a net negative with how poor of a defender he is. And we saw this trade idea floated out there uh, the other day, and I wanted to break it down. Where was the Bulls receiving? Moses Moody. Gary Payton II, Kavon Looney, and the Bulls would only have to give up Nikola Vucevic and Torrey Craig. And I absolutely love this deal, and the main reason why I do is because of a guy like Moses Moody. This is a young athletic guard in the NBA, played his collegiate hoops at the University of Arkansas, and he really just hasn't had a chance to you know, really develop into his own with the Golden State Warriors. Now, in this past season, he played 17.5 minutes per game. He averaged 8.1 points a night, three rebounds. He was pretty efficient from the floor as well, but the three-point shot wasn't bad for Moody this past season at 36%. Now, I think this deal would be an absolute steal for the Chicago Bulls. If you are able to get a young and up-and-coming prospect that has already been in a high-level organization in the NBA for Nicole Vucevic, you take it and you run. I would be willing to just dump Nikola Vucevic's salary to whatever you can get, whether that's a second round pick or just a salary filler contract to help match. But if you were able to land a guy like Moses Moody, sign me up any day of the week. Now looking a little more deeper on his numbers from this past season, he was actually not a terrible catch and shoot three point shooter. Obviously you would hope this would be more around the league average at 36, 37%. But for an athletic guard, 34.9% is not bad at all. He does struggle with the pull-up mid-range um, part of his game, only shooting that at 34.2%, but he is an elite athlete, which helps him you know, being a highly efficient finisher around the rim. And less than 10 feet this past season, he was 61.8%, which is fantastic. Now, he is an elite athlete, like I was mentioning. You know, he's six foot five, has a seven foot uh, one long wingspan, and he has a 38-inch vertical leap. He's a great point of attack defender. He can get up in the grill of other defenders and just overall make havoc happen on the defensive side of the floor. And he's also got a good, you know, base to him. This allows him to, you know, cut off guard defenders when they're trying to turn the corner on him. And he's been impressive in pretty much every action I've seen him from the Warriors. But the reason why the numbers don't blow you away and why he is not, you know, a more talked about name in the NBA is because he has never really gotten an opportunity to reach his max potential. And I think he's got a lot of untapped potential in his game. And with the Warriors over the last couple of seasons, you know, they had, you know, high-level guards, obviously Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, but they've had other guys that they went to over Moody. And I think the number one way to help these young guys develop in the NBA is just giving them chances. And if Moody were able to come to the Chicago Bulls, he would have a chance, especially in that backcourt, as the Bulls don't really have a lot of, you know, two good options at that spot. But, hey, you guys let me know. Would you accept this trade? Give me an A for accept or a D for decline down below in the comment section. And also, if you're a Warriors fan coming across this video, would you do this deal? A for accept, D for decline. Let me know your thoughts on a potential Vooch trade to the Golden State Warriors. Now, another big reason why I love this move is because of the fact you would be landing a guy like Jalen Smith or uh, landing a guy like Kevon Looney, who you can play next to Jalen Smith. Now, I have been a big fan of the pickup of Jalen Smith this entire offseason, as I really do believe he is a perfect modern-day center where he can play some big stretch four for you where you're not clogging the lane with two players who cannot shoot, but he can also play a little five out for the um, for the Bulls this season with a great ability you know, to stretch the floor. And listen, Kevon Looney... 
anytime I think about him, I just think about the playoff impact he has had for the Warriors. This is one of the best offensive rebounders in NBA playoff history. Here are his career numbers in the postseason, and this is only on a 20.7 minutes per game basis, but 5.8 points, 6.8 rebounds in 20 minutes. He's always been very efficient. He is not the rim protector that he once was, um, but he still has some ability to protect the rim. And you know, listen, the Kevon Looney, Jalen Smith, like center rotation as a whole is not one of the more talented center rotations in the NBA. However, I do really like the fit. And, you know, I think you could run, you know, some big five with Looney at the five, with Jalen Smith at the four, then what, whoever you want at the one, two, and three spot. I actually do like that rotation. But also they offer a really solid yin and yang to their games where you can put in, you know, Kevon Looney at that five spot. And he can man the rebounding responsibilities, protect the rim, you know, responsibilities as well. But then you would have Jalen Smith slide in there and he can be that stretch guy he can knock down open shots in the flow of the offense and I love his numbers from this past season again it's not going to blow you away but this is on a very limited sample size 17 minutes a game only and he was able to average just over a half a block a game just under 10 points a game this season and then the field goal percentage was at 59.2 which is fantastic and the three-point percentage also was great at 42.4%. So, you know, obviously this is a move that is not going to, you know, completely move the needle for the Chicago Bulls. But the biggest benefit you could get from that is you move off Vooch, who is going to take up a bunch of shots. He is going to take up a lot of minutes at that center rotation. And if you were able to move off him and allow some of these younger guys like the Jalen Smiths or even a guy like Adama Sanogo help them develop throughout their NBA career, moving off Vooch is the number one way to do so. But the Bulls are also getting Gary Payton in this deal and you know I could see the Bulls honestly rerouting them if this deal were to get done as you know Gary Payton he's not you know a developmental player by any means he is who he is at this point but he is a feisty defender he plays a lot bigger than six foot three he plays like a six foot ten power forward uh, anytime I watch him and you know, he's not the same score as a couple of these other guards in the NBA, but he does the dirty work. He does the little things. And I think it would be, a, you know, a decent pickup for the Bulls. Now, I'll give you guys more thoughts on that here in a second, but I got to tell you about a deal we have going on right now. And if you guys head to chatsports.com slash Bulls combo, you guys can actually get a sweet two t-shirt pack for around 20% off right now. I got both of these last summer. I still wear them all the time. They wash super well. So if you guys want to get some more Chicago Bulls merchandise in your life, hit that link, chatsports.com. Sports.com slash Bulls Combo. I'll put that link for you guys in the comment section and description of today's show. But if you want to be repping the Bulls all summer long in Chicago, make sure you click this link and get some more Bulls merchandise. Now, I am a big fan of Gary Payton's game, but I will say I could see the Bulls rerouting him immediately after this deal is done because you would hope, you know, most of those minutes in this guard rotation go towards guys like Io DeSumo, you know, Kobe White. They're going to be man in that backcourt, and obviously Josh Giddy now. And then if you were to bring in Moses Moody, I would run those four as your four guard uh, rotation. And then you could ship Gary Payton for maybe a future second. Um, you know, obviously you're not probably going to get a first round pick unless it's heavily, heavily protected. But I could see the Bulls getting some future draft capital out of a guy like GP2. So obviously this trade, it's not going to blow us out of the water. It's not going to change life for the Chicago Bulls, but this could be a good trade to, you know, just continue that next step of this youth movement, of this rebuild that is finally going to head our way, um, hopefully here for the Chicago Bulls. But this was the final trade details. Moses Moody, Gary Payton, Kevon Ludi heading to Chicago, and then the Bulls ship out Vooch and Torrey Craig. But if you guys made it to the end of today's show, give me a real one down below in the comment section so I know where all the real ones are at that watch this entire video. I'll show you guys some extra love down in the comments. But also, give me a follow on Twitter if you want more Bulls content on your X timeline. That's a handle right there, at Pat Seeps. See you guys next time. As always, go Bulls. My bad on the O3s. I didn't mean to fucking see that.